What's up everybody? Today we're talking about a couple things that you need to know before relocating to Rochester, New York. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony. It's my partner Avery and we are American Home Team. Guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so you're notified every single Tuesday and Thursday that we release a new video. Thousand percent guys and we are licensed realtors in the state of New York. So that means as much as we love making these videos for you guys, we'd love even more to help you with your real estate needs. Go ahead, shoot us a text, an email, a, a phone call. We are the guys that answer those texts, emails, and phone calls. We'd love to have a conversation with you and help you make a smooth move to upstate New York. Yeah, without further ado, today we're gonna to be talking about just a few things that you need to know if and when you're relocating to the Rochester area here in upstate New York. Yeah, so first and foremost, you will need a form of transportation. Unless, of course, you live inner city Rochester and you work <clears throat> inner city Rochester, then you can walk. Yep. But they have the public transport buses that do a very good job of getting you really anywhere in the city. But it, within yeah. the city limits. Yep. However, uh, if you live outside the city and you work in the city, or if you live in the city and you work outside of the city, you're going to need a car. Yep. And uh, also, if you do plan on just walking as a commute uh, to and from work, you need to take into consideration the winter time. We have a couple videos ourselves of door knocking and doing things in the winter time. Uh, you can see the misery on our face. It's not fun, just uh, you can check out here. It's all snow, so. And this is a very light time of year. Yep. Uh, we'll probably get dumped on here in February, probably get the most of our snow in February, uh, which is a couple days away. Yep. Um, looking forward to it because i want to go snowboarding but also a lot of people uh dread the winter time but the point is guys if you're in a metropolitan city like new york city or atlanta or tampa or phoenix and you walk to work uh, and you don't actually own a vehicle you're probably going to want to consider that in your budget yep. when you move up to Rochester. And you're also going to want to uh, think about if you haven't driven in the snow, you certainly want to practice yep. because uh, we get a lot of sliding vehicles. We get a lot of sliding trucks. It seems that anytime winter comes around, people just forget how to drive almost. So uh, you definitely want to be cognizant of other drivers on the road and yep. I feel like we don't have to tell you, you probably already know it's driving, we've done it our whole lives, but driving in the snow up here in Rochester is definitely a different ball game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah guys, so moving on to number two, when relocating to Rochester, New York, you're definitely going to want to get a gym membership when you come here. Yeah, and the, and the reason he says that is because you're gonna want to adopt the food, beer, and wine culture. When we look at Rochester, Rochester is Northern Finger Lakes, yep. uh, just below Lake Ontario. And so a lot of the food culture is American fare, as well as uh, you know the beers and the wines that stem from some of the Southern Finger Lakes, like in the Cuca region, the Cayuga region, uh, Canandaigua Lake, so on and so forth. And so when we talk about getting a gym membership, it's simply so that you don't gain <laughs> a million pounds just by enjoying all of the food. I mean, we are home of the garbage plate, and if the name of it is any resemblance of how many calories are in it, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to get a gym it's a membership it's, so that yeah, you know, you don't you don't gain a million. It's pounds. certainly not healthy for you. And and with the American Fair, it's we're we're also uh, talking. We have a good variety of um, foreign cuisine as well. So thinking about the city, you have a lot of Jamaican cuisine. You have a lot of Cajun uh, mm. cuisine. Yep. A lot of Indian food and a lot of Mexican food for sure. Um, so. It's all very good, very tasty. If you're a foodie, um, kind of like our family is, you're gonna love it up here. And the beer culture as well, the wine culture, like we like we just talked about. It's If you're not careful, it can catch up to you pretty quick. For sure, and a lot of people, when they move here, they are shocked about how much food 
beer and wine is ingrained in our culture. And that kind of pulls us into the next thing that we wanna talk about is you're gonna to wanna to make some friends. Uh, Rochester, New York is Festival City, yep. right? That it's known as Festival City. And about every weekend from the spring to the winter time is some kind of festival, whether it's a food truck rodeo, right? Talking about food, or it's a uh, Hispanic heritage festival, or uh, what else we got? We have the Fairport Canal Town yep. Days, which is just down the street. Yeah. Um, there's no shortage of festivals. And I say you're gonna wanna make friends because you wanna go with people. So Buffalo, just uh, what, uh, really it's west of Rochester. Buffalo is named the, the uh, city of friendly neighbors, right? That kind of migrates over to Rochester. For Rochester sure. is definitely the same way. With everybody kind of packed so closely, everybody is kind to each other. Everyone coexists in a, uh, just a friendly manner, if you will. And if you go to any of these festivals or carnivals or what have you, food truck rodeos, or and you're, and you're by yourself, you're going to be able to meet friends like instantaneously. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. So if you're not very social, and you're a rude person, you should probably just not move here because <laughs> we're all friendly. Uh, we all want to talk to you. We want to talk to you about the churros and you know the funnel cakes and everything else that we have here because there's a lot of them at the festivals and whatnot. But with that said, Rochester was voted in the top places to live uh, in the United States. I think it was like number five or something like that. Mm -hmm. They're not talking about living in the inner city Rochester, but the Rochester region as a whole, yep. right? So you are gonna want to make friends just so that you can go out and enjoy those, uh, the beer festivals, the carnivals in the, some of the suburbs, and uh, literally it's every other weekend, or yeah. every, every every weekend, yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. You'll, you'll be okay, you'll find some some good friends, some good people to hang out with, and, and it'll make your life a lot better when you're For here. For sure. All right, so moving on, another thing that you're gonna wanna consider before re relocating here is the job market. Rochester has a very, very strong job market. The economy is thriving, partly in turn because of places like Fortune 500 companies like Xerox, Wegmans, yep. um, who else we got? Kodak. Kodak, yep. So, so the job market here is thriving. And if you're not relocating for work and you're just looking for something, there's no shortage of jobs on Indeed or LinkedIn or if you wanna reach out to us and we can help you find a job, we've yep. gotten our clients jobs in the past and- we're, we're pretty well connected with some HR specialists in this area who yep. are, uh, they're very familiar and you know, I'd say they're actually known for helping families relocate. Yep. So that being said, the thing that we do talk about is that if, you're, if you've got kids who are maybe college or high school level and um, they're, they're looking to get a job here in Rochester, while there's certainly no shortage of jobs, the qualifications for these jobs are very high. Are very high. So you might get an entry level job, quote unquote, but it's still very hard to get it because you're still going to need five years of experience. Yep. Or there's some weird and a kind master's of master's degree. And yep. There, there's certainly some weird caveats to getting a job out here if you're a younger professional. But if you're established and, and you're relocating for work, like maybe. Maybe you have an office in Rochester and you're just moving to that office or yeah. something. You're gonna be okay, it's gonna be great. But the job market is thriving, for yeah, sure. for sure. All right guys, last but not least is when you relocate here to Rochester, you know, a lot of people ask us what there is to do in Rochester. There's numerous blogs and articles and videos out there about things to do, but it's real chopped up, right? What we wanna tell you is that there is zero shortage of things to do in Rochester, whether it's for you or your kids yep. or your kids' kids, whatever, there's no shortage. You're never gonna run out of things to do. Um, you have the Strong National Museum of Play. Avery was there with his daughter the other day. It's a super fun place. Kids will never not enjoy that place. Yeah. Um, so much. They Even if you have kids who uh, maybe they're you know, they're timid or they're shy. They're gonna go out and play with other kids over there and it's just such a great place to be for families and <clears throat> Rochester as a whole is an amazing place for families. Yep. There's just so much that you can get out and do. You can get active with the family. Yep. You can get active with yourself. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have a family. We know plenty of companies out here that on their lunch breaks and stuff, the um, whole departments of these companies go out on trail walks. Yep, my wife used to do that. Yeah, so and it's it's very common out here that, you know, just 
people get together and they go do things and you know they just have fun it's yep. like there, there's never a shortage of things to do there's no shortage of shows either the rochester philharmonic uh philharmonic yep. orchestra yep. from rochester obviously um but they have their own venue and that is you can like go on spotify and apple um on what well, itunes or yep. whatever it is and play their music and it's incredible and when you're there watching them, they have these light shows and everything. It's really, really especially a good the, time. Especially the Christmas ones are, yep. are really good. Yeah, uh, the Blue really Men fun. Group, the Blue yep. Men Group come here very often. Yep. The uh, the Globe Trotters, the basketball team, the Globe yep. Trotters Disney will come on here. Ice. Yep. Uh, and then and then once again, like we spoke about, you have all of the breweries, the wineries that are just right down the road. Yep. Uh, you have all the restaurants. There's over 200 restaurants in Rochester, just the city of Rochester. Over 200 restaurants. So if you're trying to get out and get some food with your family, with your friends, um, or just try local cuisine or whatever, uh, definitely no shortage of that. Yep. Um, but, we, then, but then with the festivals and stuff, there's mu music festivals, yep. right? Like I had mentioned the Hispanic uh, Heritage Month or uh, festivals rather. There's, uh, what do you call it? Mariachi bands or whatever yeah. they're called, <laughs> uh, right? Uh, at the festivals, you have all of these local bands that just like yep. come around and they play whatever music they're into. And uh, it's fun if you just wanna go and watch, it's fun if you wanna drink and watch and yep. eat and watch and hang out with your friends, but there's no shortage of things to do from skiing to those festivals, to the breweries, the wineries, the yep. lake life. You also have uh, the Blue Cross Arena yep. in Rochester. And so the Blue Cross Arena, obviously it's a big arena. They hold sports games in there, they have um, uh, hockey games in there. That's where the Rochester they, Americans are. Yep, they also, um, they roll out over the ice, uh, a flooring basically, and um, they bring in comedians, yep. they bring in uh, actors, actresses, they bring in big mainstream bands. Tattoo um, conventions. Yep. <laughs> so all sorts of different things that the, just even just the Blue Cross Arena will host itself. So you can literally book out probably a month straight of events to go to at the Blue Cross Arena at any given time. Yep, it's just sure. amazing. You're never gonna run out of things to do. For sure. All right guys, that has been uh, what you need to know before relocating to Ro the Rochester region. Uh, it took me a minute to get all of that out of my it's mouth. Cold, it's cold out here. <laughs> We're trying to fight the, the Jaws cold. Jaws frozen. It's, it's 30 degrees, so. But without further ado guys, hey, number on the screen, the email on the screen, go ahead, reach out to us. We'd love to chat with you. Um, and we like those comments on our videos as well. Don't be afraid to comment. We like yep. interacting with you guys and understanding what you guys want to see. Some of you want videos of some smaller towns, smaller cities, and we're, we got those queued up. We're, we're going to get those, uh, queued up and, and, and recorded. Uh, and edited for you so yep. so that being said guys be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification notification bell so that you're notified when those videos do come out yep. um because you're certainly not going to want to miss them and that's going to be every tuesday and thursday so with that guys we'll see you on the next video see ya